Thanks a lot for joining us. No stream tonight, guys. Sorry, it's just a little game week, so I thought I'd just record a wee video and pop it out there, and you can check it out at your leisure. Um, we did okay in the last game week. You'll see the results. We kind of go through all that. Um, but I'll probably do this again, maybe for the other side of the game week. Just do a wee quick video and just pop it out there. Uh, there's other content. I'm recording it out, so there's, uh, I'm just trying to program a bunch of content to go out over the next couple of days. Um, so stay tuned. Like, subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff, guys. Stay out of trouble. Let's get stuck into it. So it looks like at time of recording we're just going to be finishing with the one. I don't, there's no more chances for us to bump in these up. We're kind of hoping we cling on to the tier one where we're right on the bubble. I think if we get to up to ninth, I think we're safe, um, and then we're going to tier two reward territory. Some of the tier ones are quite nice, and I'm quite hopeful for what we could pull. Um, we're quite a lot again. Had some really big scorers. It's just some of the combos let us down. Like this cha challenger team didn't actually do that bad, but Grujic coming off the bench and Wellen Ruter was on track for like sixty to seventy before conceding that goal. Um, so that was a sore one, but yeah, oh, did guys did okay. Good to see uh, Mbemba back in the lineup again. It's been a while out. This team did pretty well. Sani was a Sani was so frustrating. He came off as a sub in the thirtieth minute. I was like, yes, he's back. he's on the pitch, and then he gets subbed off in like the seventieth minute or something. So, Pretty frustrated with him early on. Um, Champion Europe, uh, again, some decent scores uh, for Soler and Danilo especially. It was just the other guys, just all below average really by all. But when you see big scores coming in, you do get excited. But we had the scores here this week, you know, if we did get the right combo. Look at this All-Star D3, Navas hitting out of, uh, just under 70 points on his own without multipliers. Ashraf Hakimi, uh, 87. So if we had both of those guys with like, the Soler, um, and then probably an striker. I'm sure we'll find one in a minute that scored well out with a team. Uh, All-Star D4 did poor. Under 23s. Did okay. Cliver let them down. And uh, this is the team that bagged us something, you know. So, but even that team, you know, the Wurtz in there. If we swap the Wurtz out for... We could have got the Hakimi in there, you know. Uh, no, no. Not in that one. We do have an Hakimi we could have put in, actually. Uh, but we could have put the Soler in that team, for example, if we put Soler. And at that under 23 team, that would have romped home, you know, I'd, have, I'd be surprised if I wouldn't have won, you know. Um, so, we had the players, it's just those combos, guys, it's all about the combos. Now, this game week, combos are going to be limited, there's not that many fixtures, nice amount of fixtures, you know, it's refreshing to see the Christmas period have a nice wee clutch for us. Um, to get a few all games, is there any extras? Oh yeah, I think there's a few more. Lovely, so there's a fair amount of games on <laughs> across them all. Um, obviously, it just shows you the main ones that affect us on the platform. Um, but yeah, decent amount of games to cover. Now, for Champion Euro D4, um, you know, we've only really got two main divisions we can actually go and attack um, properly in this game week. Now, for the D4, uh, based on uh, the result we just had, I, I know I've got them in training, but I'd set that out previously before kind of coming in and do the video. I'm going to put Navas in, uh, into the D4 situation here. Um, at the back, you know, I'm quite happy with some of the form of these guys, but especially because this is, um, you know, Christmas territory, the fixtures do come thick and fast. I do get worried about the odd player down to rotation that will be due a turn out, you know, guys that do play frequently or whatever. Whereas a few guys are ever present, and as a team like U of A is going for the title, I think they're going to play Danilo. I think he's been rock solid this year. There's no reason for them not to play him. Uh, Weston McKenney, we've put into training, so I think I've got better options elsewhere um, with the guys I've got available. Now, I've actually bought an Aaron Ramsey for this game week. Um, I think he's in good, you know, you see the last score he hit was an 83, and I think he plays the next match. I think I think he's in Pirlo's strongest midfield from what little I've seen of UV this year, especially early on. He featured quite a bit before he got a wee knock recently. Um, up front, we've not really got much choice, unfortunately. I'll be keeping the Depay for the top tier competition, of course. Diego Costa, Di Gamble on him coming off the bench and getting a goal, probably not. So up front we're going to go Joe David um, away to Montpellier. Again, the gamble with that is that he actually plays for us and doesn't DNP or come off the bench too late to make an impact. In terms of the extra player, again, we've got a couple of choices. The Jota against Barca, I'm not up for, you know, if it was what, a bigger game week and I needed a striker, that'd be lovely. But a game week like this, that's not just not going to happen. Um, so for the extra player in this D4... I've dropped in my Bruno Gomarish as well, um, and I think I'll, I think I'll captain the Ramsey because I expect him to do well, get his big goal contribution. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to captain the Danilo because I think he's safe, and I'm happy to go safe this week. Now, champion Euro D3 is a really tough decision between All Black and Andanovic. Um, anyone else that I may be putting in training by error, I suppose. Reina scored well, I think, in his last match. Uh, I don't know if yeah, 83. 
got some good choice of goalkeepers, man. <laughs> it's a shame I don't have more capable teams to go out and use them all, so oh, it's so tough. But again, 83, what a score from the big man. But I'm going to be going with one of my favourite, you know, it's got to be All Black. All Black's always my D3 goalkeeper since I got him. It just costs so much that I can't not do it. You know, Trippier, that, you know, they're made in they're a partnership for me. How do I not play them in a D3 situation? Uh, midfield, I, I've put Quise onto the training. I'm not going to be changing my mind on that because I think it's just a little bit of a gamble. Uh, but I'm going to put Pellegrini into this midfield at home at Cagliari. Cagliari have got some decent midfield players, so I expect him to be active in the match and score points. Of course, the best striker we've got available, the pie goes into the team. And then as the spare man, I've got a super rare, I'm putting him in. And it's Ashraf Hakimi. Good score the other day, and I hope that continues. And we go Captain Depay, just because he's most likely to get some goal contributions. And minutes, mm, yeah, he's maybe not quite guaranteed the minutes Pellegrini might be, but I think uh, penalties, free kicks, set pieces, etc. And then special weekly, um, I've got the Handanovic, which is one of 100. So the, spe the stipulation this game week is, is a card numbered out of 100. Has to be a rare, um, 15 or below. So I've got a great goalkeeper for that, which I'm quite happy about. Um, at the back, I've got Hakimi again, which is lovely. So I've got a nice, quite a strong little outfit. I've got Zielinski in midfield. I've got a Jetty up front. Will he play is another matter. And then Manolas. I don't actually think that's a bad little punt um, for a lineup. I actually want to make sure. So I've got two Manolases here, don't I? I'm just going to go Captain Hakimi, just because I reckon he's, yeah. Hakimi, good score the other week, uh, oh, last game week, got a goal, hope he plays again, gets a good run of form, Hakimi. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to be the standout player of the game week, there's not a lot of fixtures, let me know, who's going to be the big man this week? Mind you guys, thanks a lot for joining us and I'll see you on the next game week, check out Twitter and all that to see what we pulled from the last game week just there and we'll pick up with this next time, thanks a lot, bye bye.